hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for clicking on today's video this is one of my favorite videos to film on my channel and it is as you can see by the title and the thumbnail a primark haul so i have recently been to cornwall but en route to traveling there we stopped off in Exeter because it was a five hour car journey and I've got to say Exeter was a lovely city, really really nice, um, lovely scenery, lovely history there and there was a really good choice of shops as well, there was um, Zara, there was River Island, I didn't pop into any of those but the one I was excited for was a Primark because where I live there isn't one so whenever I get to go to one that's great. I have got two bags full of stuff from Primark because I went to Exeter on the way to Cornwall. On the way back we stopped off in Portsmouth before boarding the ferry and I went to the Primark there because my partner's mum wanted something from Primark and there was a few things in Exeter that I didn't see or remember to get so I wanted to go back in there. However, this bag has had it so yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to doing this haul. If you can't wait to see what I've got from Primark, then please keep on watching. Just to say before I start the video, as you can see, I'm sort of in a new background. This is um, my new sort of sofa bed that I have in the spare room. It was my mum's, um, but it's not actually what she was looking for in the end. So I've bought it off of her and it's going to be great because obviously when people stay over we can turn it into a bed and then people have got somewhere to stay rather than just sleeping on the sofa in the lounge so yeah that is my new background for filming uh, i might get some decor for the wall eventually as well but this room does need a fresh lick of paint so getting on with the haul as i normally do in my primark hauls there is no particular order i'm super chuffed with everything that i got i think altogether i spent from both shops i think i spent about 100 pounds so 60 pounds the first time and then 40 the second so yes i'm gonna dive on into the bags and show you what i got pajamas from primark are a staple for me and I was really in need of some summer PJs because I've only got the one pair of like shorts and a top. Primark have so many lovely pyjama options. So I have picked up this lovely set here. So here are the bottoms. How much are these bottoms? The bottoms obviously are not a separate price because this did come as a pair. So for the set it was £8 and I picked this up in a large. So this is the little cami top with the little frill lace um, detailing at the top I love the pale pink colour and the little flowers on there I think it's stunning it's got adjustable straps as well which is handy and this material is so soft it is really nice if only you could feel it it's just lovely that is what I want on my skin especially in the summer it's got to be lovely and soft and keep me cool so for £8 I got that gorgeous pyjama set they only had this colour in my size and that is this pair of cotton cycling shorts so i picked them up in the size large which is a 14 to 16 um these were three pounds but you know what i really really love this color um i think it's a lovely pale blue great for summer again i'll wear this under um as i've said before i think in videos when it comes to cycling shorts i will wear this under like dresses or skirts or when I go um, cycling or even for working out in these are really comfortable very breathable and I've actually just ordered myself a brand new pair off of Vinted um, but not the cotton ones the actual workout ones in like a nice lemon colour so I'm looking forward to receiving those too but yeah I love getting those every time I go into Primark I then just picked up another basic so I just got another one of their cami tops in white I've got plenty in black but I've only got the one in white again they've got adjustable straps I picked it up in a size large and this was £2 so I think they were £1.80 but they've gone up to £2 now which is still a really good price for a staple item in your wardrobe so that's my little cami top sticking with the top theme i've also got this lovely little pink tie-dye top here i got this in a medium uh, this was three pounds and i just think that pink color is gorgeous and a bit of tie-dye lovely in the summertime with a pair of denim shorts 
I think that would be a nice casual summer outfit. The next top I picked up in um, a large because they didn't have a medium in this one. But that's fine, it'll just be a little bit more baggier. Um, I really love this sort of like tennis aesthetic on tops at the moment. So this is the Monte Carlo Tennis League 2000 top. I love that green colour. That is like a proper like what pine green sort of colour. Um, this top was also £3. I think it's a nice basic. I could wear this with those cycling shorts if I wanted to. Even a pair of leggings or a pair of like jeans or denim shorts and tuck it in. I think that would be really nice. And it will keep me nice and cool because it's a nice light colour. I then funnily enough, it's not really funny is it? I think like, there's something not quite right with me. Um, this top, I know it's a bit hot for it at the moment. It was £4.50. I got it in a size large. Um, it's this lovely stripy long sleeved top, just a basic. So I got that in Exeter. And then for some reason, when I went to Portsmouth, I forgot that I bought it and ended up picking up another one so the exact same top the same price in the same size so i'm actually going to gift this one to my friend laura because i know she loves um tops like this and i think this is her sort of like color she likes stripes so yeah that one can be for laura again i know it's summer but when I see things like this, I like to get them when I'm there. So I got a pair of fluffy socks. These are still £2, which I'm very impressed at. So yeah, a really lovely pair. Got a nice pinky colour and then the zigzaggy cream and pinky colour. Really nice and still a good price for £2. So well done Primark for not changing the price on these. These are Primark essential for me every time I go. So these are the five sport footies. Um micro fresh they've got like the little air holes in but i wear these um to work when i wear like flat shoes but i don't want to go like barefoot i need to have something on my foot so i just wear these so obviously you can't see it under your shoe but it's keeping my feet fresh but obviously my feet can breathe uh, i remember the days when these were one pound 30 that is when i lived back in south london so that was like a good oh my gosh like nine years ago um, they're now £3.50, which isn't too bad um, for a price increase over that amount of time. But yeah, I just remember the days when you could get these for like peanuts essentially. So yeah, five pairs of those for £3.50. I saw these and I couldn't resist. The big kid in me could not resist. Um, but I got a couple of packets of these Pokemon like trainer socks. So these were 3 50 which I thought for Pokemon was a good price. You get three pairs in here. So you've got Pikachu, you've got Jigglypuff, and then you've got Charmander or Charmander. Um, so yeah, I got these in a, and it's a size, it's one size, four to eight, three pairs. These are super soft as well. These are a wear of like trainers when I'm doing my sports, my working out or going on walks. But yeah, I just thought they were really cute and I couldn't resist picking them up. Following on from the Pokemon theme, when I went to the stationery section, this was the last one. I wasn't, I was thinking of not getting it because I don't really need it, but it was the last one and I was like, that is actually really cute. So <laughs> it is this little Pikachu Pokemon pen. Um, I tested it in the shop, it works perfectly. It is blue ink um, and it was £2, which again for a Pokemon piece of stationery I thought that was quite reasonable um, so I'm actually going to take this to work with me and put this in my lab coat and then little Pikachu will be sticking out my um, my pocket so yeah that's a lovely little pen there in the home section because I never do things in an order as I said at the start of the video uh, we needed some more tea towels so I went for something different this time I've got this four pack of tea towels in this sort of lovely striped patterns I'm such a sucker for stripes at the moment. So there's green stripes, red stripes, brown stripes, and I think they're black in the light. I think they're black. £4.50 for this set of four. They did have the other, like, um, microfiber material, but I think this is like a cheesecloth material, isn't it, for these tea towels. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to give these a wash first before I use them. And, yeah, lovely. This was one of the items that I first saw in Exeter, and I didn't get it and then I kind of wished that I did get it so when I went to Portsmouth I saw it in there it was £4.50 which I don't know is that a lot for a Primark candle I kind of think it is but the smell 
is beautiful this smells like right did you ever have a strawberry shortcake doll as a kid one of the smelly ones i did it was like my favorite little doll that i had and this smell reminds me of her <laughs> so this is a watermelon and wild apple candle it doesn't sm say it's meant to be like strawberry but to me i'm getting that strawberry shortcake scent and look how cute the jar is as well so you could reuse this jar afterwards once all the wax has melted and you've got rid of the like the excess um so yeah i really love that candle i can't light candles at the minute it's a bit too hot for me but as soon as september rolls around trust me i'll be getting those candles out again so this one will be waiting for me then from the accessories um section i was going to say the accessories act section no not accessorize not act section that's not even a word i got these sunglasses now these are really lovely they're like rose gold with a pink lens these were £3.50 um, I think this blush pink colour is gorgeous I did try them on in the shop I tried them on in my come shop with me they're quite big for my face but I really like them and I really like the tint in them obviously I've already got some like dark sunglasses but these are much lighter in terms of like the lens as well so I do really like these <laughs> let me know what you think um, but yeah for £3.50 I thought that was a great little steal for those. I then snuck these into my basket for Martin. Um, he likes their trunks in Primark and I thought these were really cute with all the emojis. So you've got the peach, you've got the eggplant and you've got the fire flame emoji. So yeah these were £8 for a three pack. Um, so yeah I'll wash those for him first and then yeah they'd be ready to go but I just thought those patterns were really really sweet I picked up a little bath fizzer it's this little half a watermelon this was £1.30 mm, I can smell it through the um, cling film it's nice and sweet and it looks a little bit shimmery so yeah lovely little bath bomb and then in the makeup section, I actually have always needed to get, well, I say need, it's more of a want, but I haven't got a cream blusher, and I've always wanted to try one. This was £3.50, it's cruelty free and vegan, um, it's in the shade Rose, there we go, that's the um, package in there. Oh, I obviously couldn't open it in the shop because it was safety sealed, but I'm going to try and open it now on camera, and open it up and we can see what it looks like together and I think I might even swatch it I'll probably swatch it at the end of me filming this and just insert like a little clip here of me swatching it on my wrist or something <gasps> oh oh it's got a little mirror in there oh cute uh, as you can see oh that was the lining that's come out so there's a little blush color that lovely rose gold color and the little mirror very cute love that £3.50 I thought that was a great price the first bag is nearly done with okay and this next item is a pair of trainers um they're kind of duping is it duping or duping I don't know duping um Nike Air Forces I think I saw these in Exeter and I was like they are actually really cute like could I justify getting them I am 27 years of age but at the same time it's from my childhood and adding a bit of fun into your wardrobe you know there's no harm in that they make me happy <laughs> what it is <laughs> is this pair of power puff girl trainers now some of you might be thinking oh my god grow up how old are you look they've got the power puff girls logan there logan they've got the power puff girls um logo there and then obviously the power puff girls on the side I really love the, um, there's a fly in here, I'm really sorry if you can hear that, sorry, but it's really getting on my nerves, get out, go elsewhere, I'll go out the window, <laughs> um, I really love the contrast with the pink and the white together, um, they did have another pair which were all mostly white with just a little bit of pink, but I didn't get them in Exeter, and then when I went back um to Primark but in Portsmouth I saw them again and this was the last pair in my size and to make it even better they were in the sale 
So if I got them in Exeter, I would have paid £16. But I paid £7 for them. So I'm really chuffed. I can't believe they only cost £7. They've got pink soles as well. Just really nice and fun. Wear them with a pair of jeans, pair of denim shorts. You know, if if or when, because I'm hoping to go back to the gym, I could use these as a gym trainer as well because they're nice and flat. I do have my Nike Metcons, but if I just want to, you know, if I'm feeling colourful one day and I want to express my personality a bit more, um, I'll just pop these on. But I, I actually love them. Um, and I've seen Emma's Rectangle. She's got like a um, Powerpuff Girls um, t-shirt that she wears in some of her vlogs. So yeah, I love these. I reckon she'd like these too. Not that she's watching, but <laughs> yeah, seven quid. That's what decided it for me, I think, when I went back that second time and saw them on offer. Oh, that was not from Primark, that was from Asda, a little giraffe box of tissues. Um, I also got Martin this top, because I think it's definitely his style. He's tried it on, it fits him perfectly. It's just a normal, sort of basic t-shirt. Got it in a size large for him. He said he normally goes by XL, so I was like, oh, okay, great, so that's not going to fit. But he tried it on, and it fits perfectly with room. Um, it was £6. So yeah, I love those colours on there and the stripe detailing. Um, yeah, so I actually really rate the men's section in Primark. Sometimes I do think it's better than the women's and it's so much more organised. Like everything is so much easier to find in, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I'm glad he likes that and it's a nice cotton material as well. This little item is for either when I go to the beach and I'm trying to get a tan or I'm in the garden because I've got a nice little garden that I sit out in sometimes um, but I just got this little boob tube um, in this lovely vibrant pink colour because obviously I think you can notice in this video that pink is my favourite colour um, it was £3.50 it's kind of like a slinky viscose sort of material let's see if I can read actually what it is does it say it doesn't say on there um, I can't remember if I just said but I got it in a medium because I am smaller on my top half of my body compared to like my bottom and I want it to fit nicely I don't know does it say what the material is it's 92% polyester and 8% elastane so that's cool it's got some stretch to it and I feel like it's going to be um, moisture wicking as well so if I sweat a bit which is probably most likely in this heat that we've got at the minute um, yeah, so I could wear that just as it is or like with a bikini top at the beach. Fantastic. Sticking to the pink theme, they have got all of these little bralette and thong sets. Now, I don't always wear thongs because some of them can be really uncomfortable. But in my opinion, some actually are really comfy. I've got um, a pair from... Um, I've got one pair from Lounge underwear and I've got a pair from Bow Avenue. And they're really comfy because they have a thick band here. I don't, the thongs that are really thin I find quite irritating and uncomfy. Whereas this is a nice thick band. But this little set which I picked up in a size large was £6. A lovely vibrant pink. Unfortunately the pale pink colour they didn't have my size. They were all smalls I think left over. Um, obviously I've got this nice adjustable bralette um, which is wireless looks very comfy this will be great for days you're just chilling or some days i have those days especially when i'm on my period i don't want to have a wire digging into me i just need comfort so six pounds you can't go wrong i had so many colors um if you see my primark come shop with me which is before this video you would have seen that they had quite a variety like blue i think it was either red or orange um i think they even had a green one and like white and black so plenty of options whatever your taste but yeah i love that little set these are not mine these are trainer socks that martin picked up for someone but he does normally get these for himself but he's got loads of pairs still all in um good condition at the moment so two pound fifty for five pairs um but they are a staple in his wardrobe um I want to get back into doing my eyeshadow i used to love doing eyeshadow experimenting with my different palettes and different makeup looks and i used to use i hate something like this i used to use sellotape to try and do like my cut my like sharp sort of winged eyeshadow look but primark have makeup artist tape by no means am i a makeup artist but if i want to get back to doing my eyeshadow at least i've got the proper tape that's not going to harm my skin well i hope it's not it does look soft 
um, it used to apply your eyeshadow and contouring neatly so yeah and then that effect when you like gently peel it off and it's all clean cut oh, can't wait for that uh, £1.50 for that and then I also picked up a set of their eyelashes their £1 ones um, this is in the style natural and the glue is included and these were a pound I rarely wear lashes but there are some events or things that I do that I'm like do you know what I could really do putting a pair of eyelashes on just to enhance my look so I've got those now and I've also got a pair from H&B Cosmetics but the glue wasn't provided and I didn't have glue before I got that so I've got glue now too okay so this is the last clothing piece um I didn't get really any dresses this time round as you would have noticed I have got so many summer dresses most of which I've bought off vintage including this one that I'm wearing this is one of my favorites um so yeah I didn't get any dresses but they did have some lovely ones in the store I did pick up these when it gets a bit cooler um because I am obsessed with this pale pink color and um, it's a pair of joggers in a size large they are a skinny fit um but you know they should be alright because they are my size so they were £6 gorgeous lovely pink colour tapered legs and then it just says Soho London 1998 on them and obviously they've got this drawstring nice thick waistband so yeah for £6 I thought that was a good price for joggers I think they have been that price for a while now or were they £5 but regardless, £6 is great in my opinion. On to the last few items of this haul. It's quite a big one actually. I think this is one of the biggest Primark ones I've done in a while. Um, but they just had everything that I, I wanted to get. This wasn't on my list, but it was half price. Uh, the lady kindly wrapped it in a separate bag for me. It is this lovely body vase. Look at that. It was originally £8 and it was reduced to £4. So obviously I've got this sort of theme running through my home. I've got a smaller bum vase um, and a smaller silhouette sort of vase like this, which I think I got from Primark previously. But yeah, for £4 instead of 8 I was really chuffed with that. So I think that's going to go in my bedroom. The last two items are my faux plants. Now, I personally love Primark's faux plants. I think they're really good. They don't look like really obviously fake, in my opinion. Sorry, I know I'm saying that a lot in my opinion, but it is literally what I feel personally. Um, I love this one. This was £2.50. This hasn't changed price either. I have already got one of these in my bedroom on the windowsill. So I'm going to put this one at the other end so they're matching. And then last but no means least, I got this lovely little faux hanging plant here. Uh, this was also £2.50. And I'm going to put this in my kitchen. I've already got a faux hanging plant off one of my units and I think I'm going to put this one off the other little corner unit um, above my coffee machine um, and I think that would really add to the kitchen nicely. Um, I just love, like I've got loads of real plants in the kitchen, I've got um, a chilli plant, a mint plant which obviously I can't have mint so it's more for Martin and guests, um, I've got a little spider plant, um, I've got a little, I can't remember what it's called, it's like that squidgy textured leaf, I can't remember what it's called, but I've got one of those, and I have got a cheese plant in the lounge as well, so yeah, that's going to be a nice little addition to the kitchen. That was everything I picked up from Primark in both Exeter and Portsmouth. I really hope you enjoyed the haul. I love everything that I got, I'm really obsessed. The only thing I couldn't get my hands on, which I really wanted, was the little co-ord set it was like a knitted co-ord so you had like the little bandeau sort of boob tube um not bandeau sorry it was like a little boob tube knitted top with the matching paper bag shorts they were like cream of either black or navy stripes couldn't get that at all in either of the primarks they were both low in stock and only had like a size small left in each of them so i was quite gutted but never mind wasn't meant to be um and what else did i want from there oh i wanted to get another pair of like the fake um birkenstocks because when i watched back my footage from my come shop with me i realized i actually really liked the white pair that i showed you guys in the video and then when i went back to portsmouth we were it was just a quick trip in and out um and i totally forgot to pick up a pair but it doesn't matter i've, I've got these brown ones that i already have anyway so it doesn't matter 
But yes, I am obsessed with everything I got. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up as it really supports my channel. And then I know that you do like the Primark videos. Um, but yeah, I'll be back soon for a brand new video. And I hope whatever you're doing, you're having a lovely day or evening. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye, guys.